you know, if you've been wondering um, how does it feel to jump into entrepreneurship when you have been an employee so far. And that's what I've been experiencing. And I have to say there are a lot of challenges, but um, the, 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 one of the hardest things that they experienced so far is to be accountable to yourself and choosing what to do, to pri how to prioritize, what do you need to work on, until what point, what are the goals you need to set yourself, is it reasonable, should you push more, all this kind of stuff, you know, and when it comes to decision making also, we have been raised, especially by school and stuff like that, and I'm not blaming them, you know, it's like, they did what they could at the time, you know, and school made sense and stuff like that. And I think a lot of things need to be updated and I'm not the only one, of course, to think that. But we taught you to stay in the lane. We taught you to uh, respect what, what you've been told and stuff like that. It's like your entire childhood and teenage and if you did higher studies, all, all, all the time, all the time, you're being told, stay in the lane, do what we tell you to do. Behave like others. If you cross the line, you're gonna be punished. It's bad. Behave like others. Why are you doing this? Do like others. Look, others are getting good results. Do like others. And you'll pass the class and you'll pass the exam and stuff like that. Then you spend your life, all your early life, to like behave like you're being told. And then when you reach the exam and you pass, and you have the diploma, and like, congratulations, blah, 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 it's very, it's very good. Now, to be different, to, to succeed in the world, you need to be different. And you need to stand out. What? Like, you, all your life, you're being told to, to, to stay in the lane, to do what you're being told. And then we tell you that to be, to, 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 to be successful and be first and stuff like that, you, you need to stand out. You need to do things different, you need to think different. And stuff. Like, that, that's why I think school and society in general, but let's say school, that's, that's kind of another topic, I'll talk about that another day, but like, you being raised to become an employee, and it's fine, that's a lot of people, I know some people are super happy in employee, and that's their ambition, that's their goal, and stuff like that, but you being raised to work for someone else, like all the skills that you're being taught and stuff like that at school, it's like uh, geometry, mathematics, history, geography, uh, marketing for me, stuff like that, you know, the, the, all the, the stuff we've been, we've been taught is, is, is to, to be working at someone else who already has a business. Like, for example, how to optimize your logistics, how to optimize your supply chains, decrease the cost and supply. Oh, and you have like this beautiful well-written problem. Imagine that uh, you have a, a huge warehouse with, uh, with uh, 10 million boxes and you have to optimize the LIFO, the FIFO and the calculation. How do you decrease the cost by like 2% with the... Yeah, but I mean, to, to that business chapter 54, you know, like, because you already have like uh, customers and employees and team and stuff like that. But when you're working for yourself, when you start entrepreneurship and stuff like that, you, you're not optimizing boxes. You have nothing. You have no clients. You have no like, how, how do you manage? How do you manage to get clients? How, how do you get organized? How do you work for yourself? How do you manage your emotions? How do you get more productive? How do you make decisions? How do you grow personally? Because you have to constantly seek growth all the time. And they tell you, they tell you, no, just work on that. So my point is that I heard this quote and I think this is very true. It's entrepreneurship is jumping off a cliff and building a parachute while falling. And that's exactly how it feels. And now I understand that being an employee is super comfortable. And so some people are very happy like that. And we, we are used and raised in an environment where people make decisions for us. They give us an environment, a context, barriers, boxes, you know, like to, 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 to play around in, you know? So it's like one of the hardest things I'm facing right now, and that's why Entrepreneur is super hard and you can grow muscle decisions and stuff like that. Uh, decision muscle, sorry, but it's, 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 it's making decision is super hard because you're trying constantly to seek for this, for this uh, higher hierarchy to validate what you're doing or you're trying to, you're waiting for the permission to do something. That's not how it works and that's super hard. I have a friend, I have one of my friends who had in the business 
he made the transition super nice because he, he, he had some stuff wired for him naturally in his head. Like he was already wired for that initially. I don't know if it's education, I don't know if it's personality, I don't know if it's like... And to me it's like, you know, uh, I have a lot of rooms for improvements. Like okay, there's a lot of things that I need to improve otherwise that can, it's not going to work. So, the, but that's, that's what I'm going for, you know. So it's like I have to change a lot of things. And that's what's super hard in entrepreneurship. You need to really constantly... Constantly, constantly, constantly reinvent yourself, work on yourself. You, the business is a projection of yourself. So that's what's super hard. When you're jumping from being an employee to become an entrepreneur, you have to make your decision on your own. You need to, 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 to work with very little information and still be able to make decisions. You need to do stuff without waiting for permission. You, you, you don't have this approval of someone who say like, mm, that's a good idea, and then you just go, go for it. What, what you do is you just go for it and you have no idea if it's gonna work. You have no idea if it's a good idea. You have no idea if like, so sometimes you have bodies that are around you but they don't have all the information and you cannot wait for them to have to, all the information. And even yourself, you cannot wait to have all the information because when you're an employee, you're defending your job. That's what you're doing and you're trying to get promoted. So the least amount of mistakes you do, most of the time, the, the better you're seen, especially I was working as a, uh, manage, consultant management, management consultant in banking, and that's that's the kind of stuff when you do mistakes on your Excel sheets. It's like it can cost a lot of money to the to the to the company, you know. So it's like if I was doing mistake, that was bad, you know, and 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 I had to behave and stuff like that. So you're looking for this like higher hierarchy to validate what you're doing, or someone to be like put a stamp and like yeah, that's a good idea. You know, there is no that. It's super lonely. I, I start to understand what Gary said. It's super, super lonely. It's like, you, you, you're on. You're, you're just like, boof, you're just doing your stuff. And uh, that's why people partner. But partnering is kind of hard sometimes, you know? And the last thing I want to leave with you is uh, this thing that in school, we, 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 we were raised and trained and taught with, with problems that are handed to us, with information to solve the problem. Like, for example, you have this math problem and you're like, okay, so you have this equation and this is the information that you, that you need to solve the equation. And you, and you go to the exam, you have your skills, you have been trained, stuff like that, you, you fold class and you're like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that, I'm going to do that, I'm going to solve the equation. And then you take the information that you have like, uh, in, the, in the problem mentioned in text. You take like you pick the information. Like, oh, the information is here. I just have to pick it, and just like, up, and you put it, and you solve the equation. But in freaking entrepreneurship, yeah, you, you have no, you you don't know which equation you need to do, and you have no information to solve this equation. It's not like it's like a boom, boom. You have like ten equations, and you need to pick one because you cannot do all of them. And once you pick one, well, you have to look for the information yourself because it's not it's not in the enigma. It's not in the text. It's like you have this equation. You take the equation. You're like hmm. Okay, where is information? Oh, there is no information. You have to look it for yourself. Like, like, like you just, you just, you just, and sometimes you have to just solve the equation without the information. How do you do that? You don't. You just do it. I mean, you, you, do, you, do, you don't overthink. You don't, you don't try to look for information. Just do it. One of my teachers at school, he willingly removed a key information to solve the problem and everybody fell. And they're all like, uh, oh, but like, we need to redo the exam. Because you made a mistake, you didn't put like the information. You was like, no, guys, that was on purpose. And I'm actually not sure it was entirely on purpose, but his answer was the following, and and we all we could not understand. He was like, hey, but that's how it happens in life. Sometimes you just have to solve the problems without the right information. But you just have to say, yeah, but w w how could we do? Well, I gave points for the exam for people who even tried even to do weird stuff, but just they actually tried to solve it and came up with a solution with what they had in the moment. And that's how it works. And, so, and that's so hard because we are being taught and used, and, and, and we are used to actually have all the information we need to, 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 to solve what we need to solve, you know? So it's like uh, you have your math, like two plus three equals five. You're like, okay, you know, so how do you do the, the, the five? You have two and three, you pick three, you pick two, put it together, you're five. All of the sudden, you have an equation, you're like, you need to do five, you have three. Where is the two? Well, you look for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to think, does it make sense to you? Let me know what you think. And uh, any question, I'd be happy to take because, you know, I've been in this journey of entrepreneurship for like a year and a half. So far, I have a lot of room for improvement. 
it's not working as I want and I realize that it's all about the mindset, it's all about your work ethic, it's all about how do you push yourself to really make it work and not let it go. And and, and some people, they, have, they don't need that much time, some people need more time. And what I'm doing while documenting all of these videos is to help you to save time the day you start working on your goals. Either it's like, you know, employee, entrepreneur, side hustle, stuff like that, because all of that are stuff that we are not being taught in school. And I think we need a lot of content on the topic. Let me know if you have questions. I'd be happy to answer. Peace.